This is the remarkable story of how one man used inspiration from Hollywood to school six frightened diplomats in the art of being someone else. Tony Mendez was the CIA's exfiltration expert. His speciality, rescuing clandestine agents and political refugees. Over the course of his 14-year career, Mendez became the CIA's undisputed master of forgery and disguise. One of the things that Tony brought to his work was this idea of looking outside the traditional areas of expertise. So he wasn't looking at defense contractors and you know, scientists. He was going to Hollywood. He was working on the sets of movies, learning the techniques. Mendez applied his Hollywood skills to clandestine tradecraft. He turned to costume designers and graphic artists to provide agents with perfect props and disguises. It transformed the agency's capabilities. But smuggling six terrified American diplomats out of Tehran would be his toughest mission yet. Tony Mendez knew the more believable the cover story, the easier it would be for the diplomats to stick to. So he set up a fake film production company. Mendez knew as long as he could keep his cover, Iranian security would have no reason to suspect he was CIA. What he didn't know was if the diplomats he was here to rescue would be able to maintain their cover stories. By this time, the Lichaks and their fellow fugitives had been in hiding for 84 days, living on their nerves. Mendez had less than 36 hours to transform six diplomats into a credible Canadian film crew and get them on a plane out of Tehran. I was supposed to be the scriptwriter for the movie. I was the transportation coordinator. We were given enough information to memorize that it would withstand cursory scrutiny, but not so much that we'd be all paranoid about, uh, you know, forgetting some detail. The Canadian government had supplied the American diplomats with genuine Canadian passports. Now the US diplomats had to become those people. We weren't trained for that, and it, we weren't spies, and we didn't have the benefit of that kind of experience. But Tony uh, stressed uh, that all we had to do is follow instructions. Most of the Americans are on board, except for one, Joe Stafford. Tehran was Joe Stafford's first foreign post with the US State Department. Now he was battling doubts as to whether he should play along with the cover story at all. Joe Stafford didn't want to leave. He felt we were abandoning the others, and um, he made very little effort um, to really get into the, his role. Mendez's extraction plan relied on everyone playing their parts convincingly. And if the Revolutionary Guard spotted a flaw in anyone's performance, it was going to be Tony Mendez in the firing line. 